Hi everybody. Okay. So let's start. Okay. Buongiorno, hi everybody. It's 11 o'clock here in Italy. And welcome into this live tutorial dedicated to the FR FR speaker. How to use FR FR speaker. It's very, very, very interesting uh, uh, discussion because uh, one of the main problems on the FR FR system uh, is uh, to understand FR FR, what does mean, uh, and uh, and to understand uh, what does it mean to work with the FRFR system, with the linear system, and also with the audio professional system. So, hi Craig, uh, Franco Matera, ciao, buongiorno, good morning, uh, angry donkey. Okay, there are a few people because <laughs> Saturday morning, maybe some of you are not interested in this, but okay. Uh, the intention of my tutorial is to explain how to use the FR, FR speaker and how to uh, let's say how to um, to create your sound and uh, to use on live stage the FR, FR speaker. So let me uh, introduce the F F FR, FR concept. FR, FR means uh, full range. Okay, full range is full range. So it is a speaker that is able to reproduce. Uh, all range of frequency but what does mean full range there is not uh, a, an absolute uh, value for this because full full range is every kind of uh, speaker that is able to reproduce the music that you listen in your car in your with your headphone with your ipod uh, on the supermarket uh, <laughs> on the tv and uh, on the mobile phone, mobile phone is also a full range system. Okay, because you can listen to music. The speaker where you can listen, everything is a full range speaker. This is really important. There are another FR, FR. What does it mean? That means a flat response. Because, uh, okay, it's completely different to uh, listen the music uh, on the mobile phone and listen to music on the studio monitor or, or the uh, headphones or the iPod or the car stereo and so on. Okay, ciao Evil Gore. Uh, could we start with a really, really simple, simple example? So the really simple example is what, you, what I said before. So every, every speaker that is able to reproduce the music Okay, is a, a full range speaker. Uh, full mean the let's say uh, the the terminology says that the full range means uh, the, the possibility to reproduce the music between the twenty hertz to twenty kilohertz, and twenty to twenty kilohertz is let's say the band where our the human being is able to listen the music. But it's not also true because not all the people are able to listen properly the frequency. Young people can hear very high frequency. Old people uh, are not able to, to hear the high frequency, for example, because, uh, okay, we, we become old and old, so our capability to listen the high frequency decrease by the time. So full range, let's say, it is, okay, a value where let's say we can listen most of the the music most of the uh, the sounds okay in the range of let's say 20 to 20 kilos of course there are some other okay we can say also full range uh, is could be 50 to 15 or 100 to uh, also five uh, five six kilos okay it's we can we are able to uh, to listen the music uh, or to uh, to this uh, speaker what is important to understand especially for the guitar people because this is the main problem because if you are not a guitarist uh, you have no problem the problem is you are a guitarist and you may many guitar player makes a lot of confusion between the guitar cabinet 
and FRFR system. And these devices are completely different. Completely means you cannot compare Apple with Pear. This is the problem. And uh, what is uh, what is very funny and they say uh, grot grotesque, maybe the, the, the English name is grotesque, is funny, okay. Uh, is to read some sentence in very in the international forums where the people speaks about uh, the FRFR speaker in the same way of the guitar cabinet. It is absolutely nonsense. So you cannot compare the guitar cabinet with the FRFRC because the guitar cabinet is not an FR, the FRFR system. Absolutely not. Guitar cabinet, you have to assume the guitar cabinet as a filter, is a very impactive filter that helps you to shape your, your tone. Okay, and you cannot compare such kind of a speaker with a FR, FR speaker. So it's very easy to understand because everybody of you knows that uh, uh, if you have a Marshall GCM 800 or any kind of very famous amp, nobody takes, uh, plug the, 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 the head, the tube head into the, uh, uh, let's say, the, the stereo speaker or the car speaker or the, uh, let's say, the, 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 the Bluetooth speaker. Nobody of you, even because you destroy <laughs> the speaker, of course. But you know that there are different cabinet, different guitar cabinet speaker depends on the, uh, the speaker itself, depending on the number of the shape of the cabinet. So we have a 1 by 12. So we start also 1 by 10, 1 by 12, 1 by 8, 2 by 2, 12, uh, 4 by 12, 4 by 10, and so You have many, many different speakers. And you know, okay, everybody of you knows that there are different speakers and different voice of the speaker because the Greenback, Celestium Greenback, sounds completely different from the V30, okay? Sounds completely different from the Eminence, uh, from the um, Electro Voice, uh, uh, from the GBL, from the Jensen speaker. Every speaker has different voice. So this means that that speaker is absolutely not full range speaker if you check the frequency response of that speaker you can see that is absolutely not linear and not full in full range typically the sounds of the guitar is uh, let's say from uh, one 120 130 let's say 200 up to maximum 5 kilohertz. This is the range, the frequency range of the guitar. And the curve is not linear. It is, a, let's say, is, is a curve where the mid-range is much more high than the extreme of the band. So this is the guitar sound itself. And the speaker contributes, uh, I think, for the 60 and more percent of the, uh, the, the, the sound. So if you have a... Okay, any kind of amp, GCM 800, Marshall GCM 800, and you put the, this amp on a, a cabinet, two by 12 with the greenback, and you then plug this, the same amp with the same settings to the cabinet four by 12 with eminence, the sounds is really different. Okay, the, the, we, we can hear, let's say the base of the sound is the same, but the voice is completely different. So the impact of the cabinet is one of the most important part to create your sound and the digital the, the guitarist that use the digital model knows very well that this difference is uh, uh, is in the impulse response because uh, we learned that uh, different impulse response sounds different even created by different manufacturer okay because the 4x12 made by red wires or Hunammer is different from valhalla or etc etc even the the, the 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 cabinets is it is the same okay okay well so first of all please uh, stop to speak uh, about the FRFR FR, FR speaker like you have the guitar speaker. Otherwise, uh, you make only stupid discussion. Okay? So, I am really fixed on this point. So, forget what you know from the, the guitar setup. 
because uh, when you speak about uh, the FR, FR speaker, you are in the audio professional. And in this ambient is completely different from the guitar ambient. So please be aware when you speak about uh, everything uh, before, uh, after everything, uh, after the microphone, you stop, you have to stop to discuss uh, like uh, the guitar player because all rules uh, are uh, are closed. So please, because in this case, you avoid to make a very stupid sense. Okay, so in the audio professional, the concepts are completely different. When you speak with the sound engineer, the, you speak with the people that know very well what is the behavior of the FR speaker, what is the behavior of the, um, the, the signal, noise, the ratio of the noise and, and the signal, and ma many terms and, ter and ter terminology where, where, where sometimes the most of the guitar players are not absolutely aware. So please, before to say something, it's better that you get some information because when you speak about the everything, regards the connection you have the digital modeler or you have the amp you have the microphone okay microphone is also a very strange thing for most of the guitar player because the guitar player says okay i plug the guitar in my pedal board in my amp cabinet and that's it no no because that sound is only for you if you wanted to to, uh, to to send me your sound, you have to record the sound and you, and you have to put a microphone uh, in front of the speaker. And when you put in the microphone in front of the speaker, you cannot uh, uh, think in the same way of the guitar player. You have to think in, this, in the way of the sound engineer in the audio professional environment. And, the, and it is completely different. Okay? So, I hope I am really clear. It's, it's difficult to me to speak in English and to describe in English this because this, co this, concept, this concept is is not easy to handle and also my English is not so uh, is not so so good. So um, I try to explain. Uh, sorry if I make some mistakes and if I use the wrong word but uh, uh, I, I try to explain. Uh, uh, in any case I am available to answer to your question if I'm not clear and just now or uh, after the, the the live stream you you put your question below the video and i will answer you so um what is uh, fr uh, can, let's come back so guitars guitar speaker are not full range forget it stop to any discussion full range is uh, uh, a speaker in the environment of the audio professional and the rules are completely different okay so the full range speaker is able to reproduce uh, the frequency between the, okay, we say 20 to 20 kilohertz. Of course, there are a lot of uh, grades uh, in between, okay, because it's a, full, it's a full range speaker. Also, the speaker that has a range of 50 to 15, uh, 100 uh, to 10,000, and so on, and so on. Okay. Um, the, the difference between the full range and the the full range flat response is that uh, full range okay but flat response means that uh, the speaker is able to reproduce uh, in the linear mode all frequency in the range of the uh, of the speaker so it's different that uh, uh, okay the, I, I, I give you a very simple uh, a simple uh, sample um, a simple sample <laughs> as I told you the mobile phone is a full range speaker yes because I can play something okay I can do do now why not let me Okay, we can listen to music for sure. This is full range, but uh, I would like to show you. Let me check what is the the name. I I give you the same song, the same backing track, uh, in a different full range mode, and this is one.
okay? I think that you can hear the difference, okay? What is the difference? Oh, they are, both are full range. Yes, they are full range. But the second one, and it depends on you because uh, I'm sending the digital music on your system because you, and I, I don't know if you are using a headphone or your monitor or, or so on, but what are you you're using now is different of the, of the mobile phone, of, of course, and it is much more close to the flat response because you can distinguish exactly especially the bass frequency the mid bass the mid range and high frequency so the response of all range of frequency is flat so i can have the same amount of signal on the bass frequency and high frequency linearly okay this device is not linear this is the difference. This is, this is the difference between full FR speaker and FRFR speaker. Okay? Ciao Giorgio. Perfetto. So if you wanted to share this, uh, this, live, uh, this uh, live stream, it would be nice. Thank you very much. So let's come back uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, 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 uh, to explain uh, uh, how to use the, the FRFR speaker. So if you... Uh, if you are able to to get the, the, the to, get, to get the difference between the, this uh, the system, uh, how to use the FRFR speaker? Because you have to consider any FRFR system as a mini PA, the mini PA where you connect uh, your digital modeler uh, to the, with a mixer. It is a is a is a full range, let's say flat uh, response speaker, okay? And the, the, you know there are. The PA means a uh, small, uh, uh, small speaker, okay, active speaker, and very big, uh, big PA. When you go to the stadium to see the ACDC or uh, Guns N' Roses, or the, you have a, that is a full range FR system, a, a, a FRFR FR system, very huge, very power, powerful, and, and it is the same. And I think that you are able to understand, okay that there is a big difference between that uh, system. Because small one has a response, big one has a different response. Because there are some other concepts that, uh, 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 that uh, uh, include also not only the, the power, but also the, uh, the, the sound pressure. The sound pressure is the most important part. But I don't want to go too deep, otherwise, uh, there is a very special technical discussion. So but what it is important, uh, okay, is uh, to understand that all of the system are, also my studio monitor I have in this in my studio is a, a, a FRFR system because they are able to reproduce uh, the, uh, the, the sound in a linear mode. But linear, okay, is not really linear because it's not the absolute concept. Linear as a, let's say, a tolerance. Hmm. Tolerance means, the, the terminology says that, uh, okay, the linear means uh, uh, if the, the value one, uh, you, we can have a, a dead band of plus five, minus five uh, decibel dB uh, of tolerance. Okay, but uh, this is maybe is a complicated discussion. But in any case, the problem is uh, all, the, all FRFR speaker doesn't sound in the same way. This is a problem. And f f for most of the guitar, the guitar player says, okay, if it, there is a, a FRFR system, that means that uh, all systems are able to reproduce the sound in the same way. So try to understand. If you, I, I give you the example. If I play the song uh, into the, 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 mm, the headphone or uh, the, so the, or the, the, the iPhone or the or into the headphone or into the monitor in your car stereo you let's say you think that the sound is the same but it is the, a mental processor because in the reality okay the most important part of the of the sound is not only the speaker itself but it is the ambient and the ambient give a lot of influence of in your sound and this is really important because 
if you but it is the same with the, with the, your amplifier so let's come back uh, uh, for a minute if you have a, your gcm 800 with a 4 by 12 cabinet and you play in at home you have a, a, a sound if you play on a, a rehearsal room okay you have a, another different sound if you play in the recording studio you have a different sound again if you play on stage you have another sound and sometimes there are very big bad surprises if you are not able to understand why why the sound change and it's not due to the your setup you due to the rig it's not due to the, this it's due to the ambient because if I play over the stage where there is the the wood uh, the wood uh, stage uh, with uh, uh, for example it, the, the venue is uh, is not uh, acoustic treated or there is some classic uh, glass windows uh, and so on the ambient influence strongly your sounds and sometimes you are try to correct and to to find everything to 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 to, to change your sound but uh, you cannot do nothing because the problem is the, the ambient sometimes so the sound engine engineer usually that is in your foh in the mix on the mixer the first thing is to to uh, tune up the pa system because uh, if you have your guitar sound and you put the guitar sound you, you put the, the modeler or the amp is, is, is the same absolutely the same in the mixer okay the okay I cannot modify the sound any venue in any venue in in any uh, place. Absolutely. The first first of all, I have to to tweak the PA, okay, to play in the same way in a different in in, the, in different ambient in different venue in different uh, uh, place. This is the, the the job that usually do the the sound engineer. Okay, it's not up to you. It's up to the sound engineer. So typically, how do I can do this? There is very, uh, there is many, uh, many way to do this. Typically, they use the white noise or the pink noise. Okay, they they put the pink noise to the the PA. They listen. They have some instrument is a mi special microphone to to get uh, the, uh, the the uh, the response of the ambient, and they uh, they try to adjust. Uh, the equalization, the main equalization of the the, 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 the PA to to fit uh, and to to make a neutral equalization, neutral response of the PA, and every every venue is different. This is is not your job, but it is the job of the sound engineer. So when you create your sound, you are sure that your sound sounds more or less equal in every places. Okay. The problem is that when you uh, start to, to use the, uh, the digital modeler, um, you stop. Typically, you stop to use the, the guitar amplifier because you know it makes no sense. Some some guitar player continue to use, it. for example, the uh, the digital modeler. Okay, use the uh, the class D amp and plug the amp into the typical guitar cabinet. So the Okay, in this case, it is an hybrid mm, system, and you have to m put the microphone over the cabin and so on. So, why they some guitar players do this? Because they wanted to have the same feeling on the stage. Okay, they they have to have the feelings on the stage because the feeling on the stage is okay. It is the main part of your playing because you have to be comfortable. You have to to listen there. <laughs> The very power sound. Uh, you have to. You need to have the feedback of, of the guitar. There is the interaction of the guitar. This is uh, really important for you. But uh, there are two way to do this, or use uh, an hybrid system. But makes no sense because okay, I I buy the digital model to avoid to bring up the, the heavy cube amp and heavy cabinets. What is the uh, the uh, the possibility for the digital model is to use uh, the FR FR speaker, but the FR FR speaker has the same behavior of the PS system. Okay, this is really important to understand. English is fine, and we understand that you are saying. Okay, thank you very much, Craig. <laughs> You you, uh, you 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 give me uh, a very very good feedback. Thank you so much. So. 
The FRFR speaker are like the PA. And you know, any FRFR speaker is as your, is, uh, is, uh, uh, its res uh, response that is not equal for every speaker. And of course, you, we have to consider the ambient where the speaker uh, is, uh, uh, is placed. Okay, let me, let me take uh, the, the, the Alice egg. Oh, just a moment. Uh, okay. This is the, the Alex K, Alex 8 speaker. Okay. This is an FR, FR speaker designed for the guitar player. Why is designed for the guitar player? Okay, it's not a different. It's, it's not a different response. Uh, so different response from other for, for the PA. Okay, because many uh, many uh, many system uh, use the many guitar player use the standard. Uh, uh, standard monitor, standard uh, cabinet, stand the, the same cabinet that are used for DPA. And for example, for example, there is a brand, very famous brand, uh, that uh, practically put off the label of the standard cabinet, put the label of of the digital model amp, and say this is the f for, this is for the for the um, digital model, and this is absolutely uh, is a, is a fake. Is a fake because uh, it is a standard. It's the same speaker that you are, can use for your karaoke, for your DJ set, for your uh, small band, uh, and so on. Is this absolutely the same? The frequency response is the same, but because the guitar player is not aware about the, the difference, they say, "Oh, this is designed for the guitar player." Yeah, very nice. It's not. Uh, let's say it is. Uh, uh, that speaker is good, but. Uh, Okay, it is absolutely standard speakers, nothing special. Okay, what is uh, in, instead uh, f uh, what, what is the difference with the uh, Alice 8 or MF10 that you can see there behind me? These speakers are designed for the guitar player use. Okay, it's different. First of all, they are compact, very, very compact and light. This is the eight inch speaker. MF10 is, is 10 inch speaker. They have a shape that you can see here the speaker. There is a, a let's say, a horn uh, in, inside of the speaker because the speaker has, is composed by two speakers. One is the woofer, eight inch or uh, 10 inch. And in between there is uh, the, the tweeter, the drive. Okay, you can see the, the horn of the tweeter. And also, you can see the bus reflex. The, the, the response of this speaker is a bit different from the standard uh, PA speaker because it, it is much more focused on the mid-range. As I told you, the guitar, the guitar sound is much more focused, much more concentrated in the mid-range uh, frequency. So this speaker is designed to give the best response just in the frequency where the guitar sounds okay but you you can also reproduce the music you can use the acoustic you can use a, like a pa you can install in a in a stand and it is the same it is clear this the difference if and this is uh, because the twitter is in the same line of the woofer it typical other um typical other other uh, speaker um, frfr speaker the, the Twitter is not in the in in, in in the in the woofer, but is placed uh, uh, close. And uh, this generate, let's say, a, um, the the perception of the the sound is a little bit different. The mid range sound is not uh, uh, is not uh, um, very uh, clear like uh, with this speaker. So it is a very light different, but light different. Okay. You can use this one for the acoustic. You can use for the for, as, as a PA system. It, this is not different, but the end, the, the, the response is uh, is uh, much more concentrated on the mid range, and this is the reason that sometimes uh, 
some people say, okay, I plug my modeler in the in the uh, in the studio or with the, with the small PI, and the sound is very nice because at home I I create my sounds. Uh, they are fantastic with my headphone. I plug in, in the into the the PA, and it sounds very bad. Uh, what is the problem? If you apply your sound in uh, the same uh, PA of the ACDC, you have not such kind of problem because in the in such huge uh, PA system, you have so many speaker able to reproduce any kind of frequency. The subwoofer, the midwoofer, the midrange, the I midrange, and the tweeter. So the response of that speaker, okay, give you a lot of pressure, sound pressure, and also a lot of response in the mid frequency. With a small, uh, with a small um, speaker, okay, there you have the woofer, okay, typically 10 or 12 inch woofer, and the tweeter, and there is nothing inside, there is no mid range. So the perception of the pressure of the mid range is too low, and the guitar, guitar player mm, are not happy with this. This is the, the, big, the, the big problem, okay? And this speaker is designed to give more uh, more response in the mid range, but some some people say, okay, the problem is this speaker is placed on the floor, and this is one of the mm, the big problem. And some people of you say this cabinet sounds with much uh, too much bass frequency. Uh, there are, there are too, too is the, the the speaker is too dark. And this is another problem, but it's not speaker itself. It it is a because you have not you are not aware why the, the, it sound it sound in the same way. So I I give you an example. Uh, I want to I want to let me I want to show my 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 studio. Sorry. No, uh, sorry, doesn't work. Okay, so this is my studio, and you can see here the green the green speaker is my studio monitor. Okay, my studio monitor is an eight inch woofer. It is the same woofer of this one, but as you can see, I place the studio monitor and the same uh, in the same level of my here. So the tweeter is in line with my ear. So it's clear for you. So now let's see where are my MF10. They are on the floor. So this, this is my guitar, sorry. They are on the floor. Okay. You should know because this. I think that you can understand this. Uh, just uh, I. I will answer you to the, your question uh, later on. Sorry. Uh, be patient for a, for a second. I have to finish my discussion, otherwise I, I'm I lose my my path. Uh, so let's come back. You should know that I, with the, with the, the guitar amplifier, if you put the guitar amplifier on the floor, there is a sound. If you lift the guitar for half a meter, you have different sound because the perception, especially of the, the high frequency is much more and you, and you lose the bass frequency. So the floor itself, it, it is a, a very, is a, like an amplifier for the bass frequency. Okay, but it's not due to the, ca ca to the cabinet itself, it's due to the physical effect of the ambient. So if I if you want to compare uh, your uh, the, 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 the FRFR speaker with the headphone or your monitor, you have to lift up the speaker and the same level. Okay, you have to understand this. And some people say, "Oh, I create my sound with a headphone and I plug into Alice or MF10, and the sound is dark than what I feel." But it's normal that it's dark because. The headphone, the Twitter of the headphone is in line with your hair, ear, sorry. It is completely different uh, of the cabinet. Do you understand this concept? It is 
absolutely normal effect. So for this reason, you have many possibilities to avoid this, this problem. Okay, let's uh, come back to the... There is a possibility to make a, a stand uh, below the cabinet, to, to tilt uh, the cabinet and uh, tilting the cabinet uh, let, uh, permit you to have the Twitter in line your, uh, in your ear. Yes, this is very important. Some other possibility is to lift up uh, the, the speaker with a, with a base of 10, me, 10 me, centimeters or a little more to, uh, to, to, to avoid that the speaker touch the floor because some floors are very, very impactive uh, with the, the bus frequency, especially the wood floor are really, really tremendous. Okay, so this is a, a, a problem. With a red sound, you have two possibilities, okay? You can use uh, the small stand or you can tilt the cabinet because you have this possibility and you can use the cabinet in this way, okay? And this helps you a lot to, uh, to decrease the bus frequency response and to have much more uh, high frequency and much more focused sound. Okay. Okay. And uh, if the bus frequency is uh, still uh, present, you have other possibilities, very simple. On any kind of uh, fractal devices, you have the global EQ, okay, for the, the output. I can show you just a moment. Okay. Okay, this is my FM3. So you have the possibility to activate uh, in, in, in my uh, now I'm using the FM3 output one is uh, connected to the audio interface and typically is connected to your FOH or your mixer and uh, your PA with your sound and uh, the mm, uh, you can they have a you have a possibility to go to the setup menu go to the output two and create your equalization okay to have the best and your desired uh, feeling for in the guitar cabinet. Typically, depending of course of the ambient and so on, you can decrease the bathroom or, and you can increase the height. And you are able to do everything because uh, what you do this, what do you, what you do on the output two doesn't influence the output one. But output one is necessary to touch. Let's say no, no because uh, it's up to the sound engineer that read your sound and decide itself depending of the PA what is uh, if it's necessary to cut the bass frequency to increase the high frequency and so on so so the first rule is okay tilt uh, the cabinet or lift a bit the cabinet with a stand with a small stand this is very nice uh, uh, tip then you can use the Global EQ for the output to the output where you connect uh, the, um, the the speaker. But the main and the best uh, tip is to create the sound in the proper way. <laughs> because uh, I think uh, the best the best is uh, the best is to understand that sometimes uh, uh, our perception of the sound is to create the sound too much uh, uh, too much uh, uh, in English in this, you say boomy uh, with a lot of bass frequency yeah, our sound is very fat like me <laughs> the sound is very fat but all bass frequency are absolutely nonsense and, and absolutely unused on the mixing of the sounds this is important with the digital model you have the possibility to think in the same way of the sound engineer and to 
produce a sound, a very fine, fi masterized sound, a finalized sound. Okay, when I when I play on stage, I give to the mixer left and right, okay, from the output, and the sound en engineer raise uh, the, the 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 fader. The faders of the uh, of the input and that's it doesn't touch anything and i asked the sound engineer did you touch the equalization no no your sound is perfect this is to me is uh, fantastic because i have the same perception of the sound i create a sound the same way that the people and the, the people uh, he, uh, here uh, listen to so my sound and to me this is really important until now the guitar player with the amp feel the, the sound from the, the amplifier but it is completely different what uh, the, pe the, 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 the people uh, uh, listen from the PA is different because there is a microphone there is the PA there is the venue and so on and so on and it is up is up to you there are some guitar player are happy to listen the the, the, the sound of the guitar the, 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 the guitar um, the guitar amp and they don't care about what's happened on the PA I'm not happy for this. It's up to you, of course. I take care a lot of what the people listen from my sound. Okay, I learned this, and I'm really happy when the people at the at the end of the the, the, the gigs and they have the concert say, "Wow, you have so amazing sound! So, you have so amazing sound!" And all people say this. Okay, it's different that. Okay, I am a, on the stage, a very incredible sound, and people say yes. <laughs> on the PA is completely different. So it's up to you to decide where in, in, which side you want to stay. So let's uh, let's answer to some of your of your question. Uh, okay, Oliver Day, I, I start from the last one. Uh, what's your favorite FRG FRGR, FRGR, maybe, you know, so speak, uh, how does the uh, RS12 compare against the line uh, 61? Uh, dear Oliver, I MF10, the MF, MF10, the speaker that you can see here, is uh, the MF means uh, Marco Fantone. So <laughs> you can understand what is uh, my idea about the speakers, of course. MF, it is a, a cabinet that I, uh, that I develop with the red sound. Uh, and uh, so I'm so proud and so happy of this uh, cabinet. But uh, um, so I... I don't want to make any comparison with other with, with the competitor, of course, because as, as you know, I'm work for G66. Uh, I'm, uh, I have a, a strong collaboration with 66. Uh, I can answer about uh, the Red Sound and G66 uh, uh, speakers, of course, uh, of and uh, the decision of uh, uh, which is speaker is better one is not a decision. I want to give you the elements to decide yourself uh, the which speaker is. Uh, uh, is good for you. This is my uh, intention for this uh, for this uh, live tutorial. Um, uh, of course, I can say MF10 means Marco Fanton. <laughs> so, so you can imagine what is my answer. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me let me check some other your question. Let me check your some question. Uh, Auto sync. Uh, okay, maybe maybe it's still out of sync. Uh, I'm sorry for this. I know there is similar this problem. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me. No, I don't want to to refresh the page. Otherwise, I lose your chat. Uh, but uh, okay, it's not a problem. The syncing of my voice is not uh, a big issue. Um, uh, okay, let me check. Uh, Axe FX uh, pure uh, plus red sound. Where are the magic uh, controls? Uh, what does mean? Uh, where are the magic controls? Okay, I, sh I show you what is uh, the, 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 the MF10 and the LS8 is, uh, is a flat response, uh, full range flat response. So you can adjust your feeling, as I told you, with the, the equalization, as i shown uh, in, the, uh, in the editor. Um, this is so strange that you are doing a video about this right now. I'm literally making a stand for my RS12 as you speak. Mm, I, why is it strange? The, the problem 
okay, the people should. Uh, I, I, I would like to, to explain because some people complain uh, and write me, okay, I bought some uh, the, the red sound speakers, but not only for the sound. I read a lot of, uh, um, of uh, uh, claims regarding the, the issue that some FRS speakers sound too with much boomy, rumble. I don't know the, the, the right English name, boomy maybe, or rumbling uh, sounds. Too much buses, but the problem of the bus frequency is, as I mentioned to you, is the the diffusion of the bus frequencies depends a lot of, of the of the ambient uh, of the uh, of the floor and so on, and also of the sound. Uh, okay. Can you run a simple example? Uh, cable on. Yes. Is, uh, okay. I, I I just refresh a bit uh, the. The uh, uh, the browser, sorry. Okay. Okay. Maybe now my voice is uh, synced uh, with uh, with video. Let me uh, give me a feedback, please. So let's make uh, an example of what I said. I said before, starting to to create the sound. So. Uh, I create this new preset. Uh, let me. Okay, so let's check. Uh, this is uh, my last preset. And uh, ah, just a moment, just a moment. I want to before to. Before to to make you an example, I would like to to make this this other sample. Uh, a very important thing is uh, to let me check uh, what is it. Uh, okay, I wanted to show you on YouTube. Uh, you can search the isola isolated track. Uh, Isolated, isola, isolated track uh, of some very important guitar players. So I would like to to give you the the feeling uh, how tip how uh, how does the typical guitar uh, guitar track uh, is uh, recorded in a very famous uh, uh, famous record. This is really important because some some people where they listen this track they understand oh it's completely different of my perception of the mixing it is different to listen the guitar into the mix and listen the guitar alone and this helps a lot to you to understand what is the real sounds of the guitar in the main the, the most important record. So let's take uh, this very famous... Advertising on YouTube helps me reach engaged okay, customers like a... Jenna, who's been searching for landscapers on Google. Okay. This is the famous Rosanna. Let's... Uh... Let's go. Ah, okay. Okay, listen to the distortion part. So you, you can understand what is the amount of bass frequency in this sound. Practically nothing compared to what I listen from some guitar player. So you have to, first of all, to understand that the guitar doesn't sound in the bass area okay you have to create your sound uh, cutting the bass area this is the main important thing because sometimes your sound sounds uh, really bass your speaker sound really bass because your sound as contains so many bass frequency and the problem is uh, the headphone or your studio, studio mode are not able to reproduce that bass frequency in the proper way so the the sound pressure 
on the low frequency, if you have not a big speaker, you cannot hear exactly the pressure. When you drive the sound in the FRS speaker that are bigger than your headphone, of course, and are placed on the floor, this bus frequency rise up immediately. And you say, oh, it's, the sound is terrible. But it's not due to the speaker because the speaker voice is what you give into the, what you plug into the speaker. So this is uh, the, uh, the problem. So let's check uh, how to create uh, the proper sound. I take my guitar. OK. This is the sound that comes from uh, maybe from the mi from the speakers. I you can listen with the microphone. This is the sound that comes from the MF10. So sorry, there is a the MC8 in front. Sorry. Okay, let's do it again. So, you, you are listening to the sound from directly from the speaker. <laughs> So I switch off the, the speaker and I switch on the, the audio interface. So now you listen the same sound from the audio interface, so directly to you. So you are using now your speaker, not mine. <laughs> I do it again. Okay, did you hear the difference? There is a difference, of course, because this is the microphone. So the, I, there is a, the ambient, there is the linearity of the microphone. Or microphone, my, you, you, but you can listen. The difference is is the different of the ambient. It's not the different of the sound. Okay, this is really important. So let's come back to the preset. First of all, when you create the uh, the sound, take care about the bass frequency. This is the setup of the this um, Euro Uber uh, amp. Bus is very low, okay. And on the cabinet, uh, you can see here how is the low cutting. So the high frequency is 20 kilohertz. So I use the all full all range of the high frequency, and I start to cut the sound of 137 hertz, more than 120. 20. And this is the most of important because of course when you if I keep the the the, the low cut at okay you can hear these bus frequencies are tremendous but are tremendous for any kind of speaker typically the sound engineer when you uh, on the PA make uh, the same eye uh, cuttings so maybe you can hear the bus frequency you can hear on the stage, but the sound engineer cut you in the same way that I'm doing now. So I rise up 135, 37. So the first important thing is to understand, if, if you want to understand, that the sound of the guitar has not anything uh, 
below the 130, 140 hertz. This is really important things. The second step is if you want to tweak your uh, your uh, cabinet as you want, of course. In this case, because my my studio sounds very, very v v with very bass frequency, I cut a lot all frequency below the tw uh, 125. This is the shape, and I have I give a bit of on on the in the range of 8k, just a little bit on in this range, but nothing not, nothing more. And this equalization let you to shape your sound on the stage as you want because of course the sounds that you have in the PA is of course it could be different because the PS is different of the of, of the of the speaker but if the sound is created in the proper way it's only a very a very small tweaking of the of the bus frequency nothing else okay Sorry, my explanation maybe is complicated because my English is not is not good, but I hope that you understand. And of course, if you have any question, please put your question. Uh, amp cabinet tweaking. OK, I, I, let's come back. This is the amp tweaking, but it is, of course, this, this depends on the amp. Typically, I don't uh, mm, set set up the bus frequency. Uh, maximum is five. I don't go to the five, but it depends on the amp. If you have, uh, for example, the Marshall Plexi, is different equalization because it depends of the the tone stack of the amp itself. For this kind of the amp, the, the, the Bogner's tone uh, tone amps, uh, typically the bass uh, I stay with a very very low bass, and the cabinet I as I as I show you is cut to the 100. Uh, 35 and also depends strongly from the impulse response because there are some impulse response that sounds uh, much more basses than uh, the other one for example if the impulse response is made with sm 57s microphone the sound is much more bright than if you use uh, the ribbon microphone like a royal 121 or bayer dynamic 160 and so on so depends of the impulse response itself any impulse response needs is tweaking but what you have to understand is not the main part of the voice that is in the mid range. I don't want to touch the mid range. You have only to touch the ex extreme of the band, and typically is the problem is on the in the lowest part of the band. So the uh, from the 140, 130, and and below. Th that is the problem. That is the problem. Typically, you can take the the high frequency a lot because it's. It's, you have all the time to to decrease the high frequency. It's better to decrease that increase in in post production. The problem always on the bass frequency because the guitar git, guitar has not to stay in the bass area. Okay. Uh, pa, 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 pa. For digital and alphabets. <laughs> <laughs> Franco, but could you please increase the size of FM control? So, okay, this is the maximum size. Thanks. Uh, I cuts on the speaker. Okay, but that's it's up to you. Typically, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to cut so much the high frequency. It's it, it, it's depending because uh, uh, in the mixing, I I want to to show you uh, in the mixing the high frequency. Are mixed with the rest of the high frequency from the the cymbals, uh, from the the keyboards, uh, and so on. So it's better to have a bit more than uh, our perception. Okay, I I can could make an example for uh, to you. Okay, let me check uh, some of. Uh, uh, let me check uh, what is uh, for example. Okay. <laughs>
Okay, this is an example. Sorry, I did a lot of mistakes. I'm not prepared for this back injury, but I I only want to underline what is important to to keep the high frequency very high. I come back to the. Saluti dall'Australia, vecchio, sei grande. Paolo Tisi, how are you in Australia? Amazing. So if I rise down the I cut. Uh, The risk is the sound is too dark and you don't, uh, uh, you don't, uh, um, let's say, uh, you don't, th the sound is not readable, is not uh, uh, in the mix. Okay, so I suggest you to to take the high frequency as much as possible in, in the high hands. The sound, maybe sound is much more sweet, but uh, the risk is uh, it, uh, Mm, uh, it is not uh, it's not in the mix i don't know the come si dice bucal mix uh, the, we have uh, in italian in italian terms to say is, uh, to make a hole in the mix but <laughs> I, I don't, i'm not I, I, I for sure is not the same uh, the same in english uh, when uh, when you want that guitar is really present in the mixing okay Hi, DG DG09. Okay, so I can show I can show briefly what is the same sound with the the high frequency in catted. Okay, throw the throw the mixer. Thank you very much, Franco Matera. Okay, uh, let me check again the the same the same song with the darker sound. To me, the guitar is a little bit behind the mixer. Now I go to the 20 air. Oh, it's completely different. Can you hear the difference? So, I suggest you to take care about the the high frequency because sometimes you because the most of the guitar player has a different perception of the high frequency because the, typically the guitar amplifier is placed on the floor. So that means a lot of bass frequency and less high frequency. And when I started to use the digital model, I started to learn to to listen this my sound on the headphone and in the beginning and oh the sound is is digital sound is is in italian we say zanzaroso that means uh, it is a uh, mosquito sound is <laughs> the same of zzz. okay i don't know in english is if it's the same translation but uh, in italy it's very famous to say zanzaroso it's zanzaroso comes from the mosquito because the sound is zzz, the same okay uh, but uh, if the the guitar is alone it's it's okay as i as i mm, as i give you this, the example before with an isolated track from uh, listy vluketer and rosanna the sound is really acid uh, with high frequency no bass frequency but is, that is the sound that is in the entire mix of that that sounds okay i can give you Buzzing, yeah, buzzing sound. Thank you very much, Paolo Tizi. You are living in Australia, so you have much more. Your English, I think, is much more better than than mine. So I really apologize for for my terms, but uh, is 
I have two difficult. Uh, one is to explain. One is to uh, to to translate my thing from Italian to English in the proper ways, and uh, you uh, you cannot understand what is the the difficult I have. I'm not so smart with English. Sorry for that. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can uh, make a different, uh, especially especially with the uh, the song where the there is too many many instruments, many uh, keyboards, uh, many um, s- cymbals. Uh. This is backing track. Sounds very huge with. on my cabinet. give you so different uh, listening one is uh, i hope that uh, the the sound is correct but you can see the, the the sound is very similar from the the cabinet you have to take care that uh, that is the ambient sound there is the microphone uh, response so but the, the sound is very close of the of the uh, the sound of the, um, the fm3 directly connected to the audio interface okay i i see other questions And okay, Franco Matter, what is the difference between using G EQ and setup EQ? Eh, dear Franco, it is a big difference to use the G EQ because if you use the G EQ, uh, you affect uh, all the output. So, I really suggest you to to separate the equalization of the cabinet from the equalization of the mix because you don't know how the sounds on the mixer and on the PA react uh, with the venue and so on. And only the sound engineer can do this. Typically, okay, I show you how it's possible to create the sound, a very, let's say, neutral sound where the sound engineer doesn't touch anything. This is my suggestion. And typically, if you cut the fre- frequency uh, uh, below the under 30, under 40, you are okay. Typically, is you are okay. Uh, but uh, of course, when you are on stage, you want to 
for example, to have a very, very punchy sound, very uh, big sound. So you can increase the bass room, the bass as you want. Typically, I don't touch the, the EQ on the output too. Why? Because I use the in-ear monitor. So with the in-ear monitor, I have the high uh, definition of my sounds and I wanted to have the bass, the, the bass frequency uh, 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 as much as possible because I like it. Okay, I have these two differences. It, and of course, it's up to you how to tweak the equalization of the output. Of course, you have two possibilities. You have another possibility, for example, to... Um, grazie Paolo. Un bel caffè, ti ringrazio. Ci vuole anche più di un caffè. <laughs> Five Australian dollars, I don't know how much euro is. <laughs> But it's the first time that I get the, the, a, a super chat in, in Australian dollar. Thank you very much. Very, very funny. Thank you so much. Really appreciated. Okay. There is another possibility. Uh, in this case, I'm using uh, the, um, the configuration where I... Let me check. Let me show you where I... Uh, audio... Uh, 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 uh. Let me check if I... Mm -hmm. Okay, I set up my FM3 in this way. I copy the output 2 with the output 1. So the same sound of out output 2 is on output 2. Uh, output 1 is on output 2. This is the reason that I uh, make a different equalization of the output 2, okay, for the, for the cabinet. If you want... Uh, to have the GEQ for different so for special reason I don't know I don't know but you can do this of course you have to go to the aud audio to uh, put none on the output two so the output two is independent of output one and you can connect here the output two okay and you have to uh, let's say that now is a difficult. Uh, because I have to put uh, the GQ in uh, some... Okay, let me... Now there is not space uh, to create uh, the GQ. Okay, but uh, let's assume... Uh, uh, let's assume that uh, I can do this. Uh, I should connect uh, this EQ after the reverb. I, not, I have not space, but I, I, I hope you understand. This connection should be done here. So I have to take the space to get the sounds from out the output of the reverb on GAQ. And I can do the same, but I have to use a, a, a second block and the second output. It's absolutely up to you. It's the same, uh, same settings uh, than before. So let's come back to, to the initial configuration and I use the output copy and I copy the output one over to output two. And I use the output two equalization. So as you can see, the, in the output one equalization is disabled because I don't want to use the output uh, is off. Uh, I don't use the, the global EQ for the mm, uh, for the uh, for the, my sounds typically. If I touch, I wanted to touch uh, some EQ, I go to the output EQ of the amp. Now I, I don't use anything about this. I never use the equalization. Typically, I prefer to match uh, the proper impulse response uh, with the proper amp, but typically I don't touch uh, much more the, um, the, the amplifier. Okay. So. Okay, guys, uh, I think that uh, we are one hour and 20 minutes online. This is a long tutorial. I hope that uh, some uh, I give you some clarification of the using of the FRFR system. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can uh, put your question below the video or write me uh, on my website. Uh, there is the email to write, but I prefer that you put the, uh, the question here because so everybody can see the question and the answer, of course. Um, and of course, thank uh, thank you very much to G66 uh, that can permit to have uh, uh, the, the, the G66 product, the Fractal and uh, MF10, MLS8. Uh, it is a MF10, I remember you, is a project uh, designed uh, in cooperation with the Red Sound by me and the Red Sound. MF means Marco Fanton. Okay, thank you, Paolo. Thank you, Franco. 
uh, thanks a lot to you to, for your attention uh, okay sorry again for my English I hope that uh, you understand uh, correctly what I mean I, uh, what the important things is uh, the concept uh, the concept because uh, I, I see in the, in the forum and I receive many questions but uh, uh, okay I, I, it is clear that many people has not uh, a very clear idea what means to use the FRF assist because I repeat again the audio professional area is completely different from the guitar area is very very different so now with the digital modeler the the guitar player has to to be skilled for the audio professional otherwise it is really really difficult to, to find a way because some people say how can I uh, create that sound I have a problem this and that the, the problem itself is not and sometimes there is some frustrating about the digital about the digital model about the device because you buy a system to buy the system is very easy you pay and you have it not, nothing else but unfortunately this if you pay a lot doesn't mean that the sound is great immediately you have to to uh, to be skilled to use the system in the proper way and fractal system I, as very high level system and it's like uh, uh, you buy the reflex camera okay you, you, you spend uh, four thousand uh, euro for the reflex camera and uh, it, 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 there is no the automatic <laughs> mode <laughs> because uh, it, it's such kind of camera uh, is for the professional use and the professionist uh, know very well how to use the, the camera in a manual mode and how to use the uh, to to set up the the the, 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 the shutter the the, the 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 tempo and so on and so on so please take care if you spent if you spent money doesn't mean that it means easy is typically is vice versa if you it's better that you you, you buy a, 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 an iPhone and to, you take the, the photo with the iPhone okay so please your happiness when you buy some devices is not only for the money that you spend but is from the knowledge knowledge is the happiness because if you know the things you get the must benefit of the, the systems this is my philosophy Paolo Tisi, grazie mille anche se non ci capisco una mazza, però seguo in ma maniera il tuo canale finalmente ho potuto ringraziare per il tuo inglese era una uh, <laughs> Thank you very much Paolo. Thank you very much. So guys, see you again. Have a nice weekend to everybody. Let's make a pray for the the world situation. And uh, thanks you very much to Restream, guys. The Restream is the platform that I'm using now. It is made in, from the Ukrainian Ukrainian teams, so I'm uh, really close to these guys. Uh, and uh, I hope that this stupid world uh, finish uh, very, very soon, because it's really stupid. So, sorry for this, but uh, I have to make a thing of this very incredible and it's amazing situation. Thank you very much, and see you. Ciao, 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 ciao.